Good morning, everyone. This is Roberto Pasqualini. I'm the Wind Sector Sales Manager for Bonfiglioli. Today, I'm here to talk about the, the Bonfiglioli Offshore Innovative Solution. Uh, for over 30 years, uh, Bonfiglioli collected an experience uh, with the world's major wind OEM. We have been able to make a co-engineering activity developing tailor-made solution with our customer. Today, one of three wind turbines globally is equipped uh, with Bonfiglioli EO and Fish Drive, thanks also to the unique footprint of Bonfiglioli. As well, we have been able to dedicate a uh, strong focus to offshore solution, which I would like to explain today. The 700 TW series is the product range of Bonfiglioli de dedicated for wind, and Bonfiglioli is proud to present the new offshore Rio drive with integrated motor inverter. The main benefit you can enjoy by using this solution is a significantly space saving thanks to a more compact and robust design that show that allows to save space inside the nacelle. We can as well have a faster time to market thanks to a supply chain standardization, a strong simplification of the bill of material, and overall cost saving thanks to reduced installation costs, including a reduced size of electric cabinet and one-stop shop, Monfiglioli will be accountable for the whole entire system, reducing the complexity in managing separate components at customer end. And finally, it's IoT ready. Thanks to the presence of the inverter, such solution is ready for the IoT implementation. Uh, the product evolution of the Yo drive over the years in Monfiglioli passed through three generations that, uh, if put in comparison, can easily show you the benefit uh, that has been progressively introduced. Passing from the first uh, generation to the second and finally to the third, you can see that uh, the product has been progressively optimized by passing from three section in the standard design to two section with a single input belt housing to the third generation with uh, as well the presence of the integrated inverter that uh, put uh, three components in a single one. This can give you a smaller product with over 20% age reduction. Simple, because we have three products in, in one, and lighter, because uh, we have been able to save uh, over 15% of the weight, and finally ready for IoT. Now, going a little bit deeper into the features of this product, I would like to stop by and discuss a little bit about uh, the Yo motor with integrated inverter. The example you can see over here is an IEC 160 Yo motor with integrated DGM size inverter that can uh, be used uh, typically in a 12 to 14 megawatt wind turbine. With a rated power of 7.5 kilowatt and the frequency of 50 to 60 hertz. The frame size is an IEC 160. This motor is perfectly suitable for such application. Okay, the inverter it's uh, capable to achieve uh, 18.5 kilowatt with an output voltage to zero 400 volts, and it can operate in an ambient uh, that goes uh, between minus 20 to plus uh, 50 degrees. You can uh, have an I P 55 degree protection. In terms of the key features, you can see we have an encoder into the fine cover. We have the brake resistor integrated in the inverter. We have an acting connector for a faster connection. And the, the interface is the standard one for an IEC 160, but depending by the customer need, we can easily adapt to different configuration. The Bonfiglioli product range for such type of motor can be easily extended to other size that can go from an IEC 90 up to an IEC 160 and even more. Again, the benefit can be resumed in a single supplier for the e-motor plus the inverter, a very stronger simplification of the installation in the wind turbine due to the reduction of the cables and wires, the direct power supply through inverter hatting connection, a quick inverter accessibility and maintenance availability by removing only the inverter top cover, 
a control strategy accuracy for nacelle rotation, which, which is much higher, and uh, an easy programming and inverter management based on the Win32 platform. Finally, it's Profinet RT started compliance. One of the questions that Bonfiglioli asked themselves is uh, how to face the LCOE from an indirect standpoint. So we try to see how we can support our customer into the digital transformation, separating what is delivering value to customer by what is not delivering value. The aim of this uh, uh, is to try to see how the energy efficiency can be improved uh, by reducing the total cost of ownership. So we try to develop a connected product, uh, making models and analytics, uh, put them into an edge computation, and thanks to the storage in the cloud and, and, and analysis, at the end, produce an output uh, with KPI that can be visualized into a dashboard. So, a comprehensive IoT suite for your drive from Bonfiglioli has been developed. We started uh, trying to put sensors inside the EO and the pitch drive. At the beginning, it was just uh, a torque measurement in real time, but then, time to time, we started uh, to measure also other parameters, uh, like, for example, relative humidity, uh, vibration, uh, motor current, uh, motor speed, oil pollution, and all the relevant parameters then that can contribute in a uh, smart combination through an algorithm to produce uh, uh, real-time information that can help uh, the dynamic life cycle monitoring, uh, supported predictive maintenance, and an health device assessment. Okay, how sensor data and information can impact uh, the wind LCOE. Well, if we take a look at the model of the profitability in the wind business, it can be seen as a contribution of revenue and cost. So the revenue, it's of course uh, something that is given by the specific features of the wind turbine, like roto diameter, hub height, and other physical characteristics, and the specific features of the wind farm and the wind characteristic. On the other end, the cost per year, the total cost of the year, can be divided into a direct contribution and to an indirect contribution. So the direct contribution is clearly given by the capital cost per year, so lifetime of the project, cost of the capital, and direct cost of the turbine, foundation, road, and construction. While to the indirect portion of the cost, it can very much link it to the operation and maintenance cost per year. Now, coming back to Bonfiglioli, the cost of the sensor for the UNP drive can easily get lower and lower, and already today the cost is quickly repaid when we take into consideration the total cost of the ownership of the wind turbine. At the end, reducing the, oil, the operating and maintenance cost allows to reduce the maintenance intervention to minimum and avoid emergency intervention, and uh, also maximizing the energy production and as they prevent from an unexpected production interruption over the lifetime of the turbine. By doing that, Bonfiglioli is positive to get an important contribution to the reduction of the LCOE, as I said, not from a direct standpoint only, but also from an indirect point. That's all I have for today. Thank you very much and stay tuned in, uh, into our channel. Thank you very much. Bye.